How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Okay, so uncertainty. This is Rosemary Nonny Knight, RNK, Deliberate Life Stream. The deliberate life is about prosperity. It's about, well, it's about prosperity in all areas, so it's not just, because usually when I say the word prosperity, people are thinking immediately just about finances. Finances, absolutely. But it's about a prosperous feeling all over your life. It's about abundance, which in some ways could be the same. Freedom, fulfillment, and it's all underpinned by love. I believe these things are your divine heritage. I believe that there's a heck of a lot of people, a heck of a lot of the 7 billion people on this planet who are not living to that fullness. They haven't managed to break through. And that's what the deliberate life path is about. It's about the breakthrough into a life where you wake up in the morning and you know you are on purpose. We spiritual people, we know that we're connected to source. We know that we call to something more. We know that we're here to make a difference in some way, not always by being some kind of superhero person, but just by being awake. But we sometimes give into this whole uncertainty craziness. We tell ourselves we don't really know what to do. We don't really know how to move forward. You have this vision, this idea of what life could look like for you, but then you give in to self-doubt and uncertainty. For us to be the leaders, the, um, the people who make a difference on this planet, just by being our most powerful selves, we have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. We have to get comfortable with being uncertain. Because there's going to be times when you feel uncertain and it doesn't mean anything. You know the vision on your life. It's like, I, I, am, I don't come to you as some kind of guru. I come to you as someone who just wants to wake you up to the fact that, you know what, I live this stuff. I live this stuff. I sometimes wake up and I feel, yeah, I know I'm on purpose. But then I think, oh my gosh, the big vision I have, is it possible? But I don't allow myself to indulge that for long. And even if I'm feeling what I'm feeling, I do the work. I've made a commitment to show up. I've made a commitment to be all that I can be and I will not settle for any less. And I call you to the same path. This is the deliberate life where we deliberately design life regardless of what we feel. Our emotions are to be valued, they're to be acknowledged, they're not to be ignored. But then at the same time, they are to be managed. Your emotions are a result of what you're thinking. And that definitely needs to be managed. If you're giving in to thoughts of, oh, but I don't really know, it's all too big, I'm not really sure I can do it, and oh my gosh, and, and oh, my children need this, and oh, my partner is this, and oh, I just don't know, and oh, oh, oh. We can no longer be people who allow the OOOs and the uncertainties to tell us what we do or do not do. There's a part of you that knows you are called and born for something more. And in some ways, sometimes, because we're spiritual people, some of us are religious people as well. And sometimes your religion actually has caused this uncertainty inside of you. It has made you feel as though the call on your life or the vision has to be sacrificed or given away or some crazy, crazy thing. And I know this from experience because this was my life. For a long time, I really felt kind of guilty for having a vision. Yeah, I'd shout and sing about the fact that I'm going to live out the call of my life. and blah, blah, blah. But there was this feeling that I was not allowed to actually really play full out that I had to keep sacrificing and waiting and waiting and waiting for some kind of voice from the Lord to tell me this, that, and the other. And yeah, I agree that we want divine guidance, for sure. But not when it means that you're just sitting there doing nothing, waiting because you feel uncertain. The vision is your permission, man. The vision is your permission to move. And so Spirit is waiting for you to stand up, 
get up off your awesome ass <laughs> and decide to move forward. And then the guidance makes sense. Because yes, yes, absolutely, I believe it is critical that you live in connection with your divine power, whatever that means to you, whether it's just intuition or whether you know of a higher power that you want to be connected with, whatever you wish to call it, you know there's something more to us than meets the eye. And we seek divine guidance through every single thing we do for sure. But we keep moving towards the vision. We do not wait, waiting for perfect certainty. No, this is a faith walk. You have been given the vision for your life. You've been given the call on your life. And I know that sometimes we need to spend some time distilling it out. And definitely that is one of the things in the deliberate life is that you get clarity of purpose. But you do not wait forever for some kind of perfect clarity. Clarity is never found on the sidewalk. It's never found sitting on the fence. It is found as you walk. As you walk, you will discover things that, okay, maybe this isn't quite right path for me. I'm going to just shift my direction a little bit. It is easier to shift a moving car to change its direction than to shift a car in break, in break, in park, sorry. A parked car, you can't really shift that thing. But if it's moving, the brakes are off. You can kind of change its direction one degree at a time, man. And it, can, it will move in a different direction. Same with you. If you're sitting there waiting for perfect clarity it's before you move forward, or you're telling yourself you're waiting for the perfect time, before you move forward, you're waiting until your children are grown, you're waiting until your parents are old and gone or something so you don't have to look after them, or you're waiting for your partner to agree, or you're waiting for this and that and the other. All of these areas of life absolutely are part of the deliberate life. We want all of these areas to be working for sure. But that does not stop you from living out the vision on your life. It is as you live out the call on your life that all the other parts start to fall in place. You seek first the kingdom and everything else is added to you. You don't wait. Oh, the kingdom will wait until every other area of my life is working. No. You know the call. You know your call. You know you're born for something more. Uncertainty is no excuse. You hear these words and they resonate. They speak to you. You know it's true. That it is time for you to rise. To awaken. To start living out the call on your life. You know it. So no longer can you tell yourself you don't know. You do know. Always, spirit within is always trying to get your attention. To put you in this path so you hear things like this. And you resonate with the message of the deliberate life. You know it is calling out to you. So honey, uncertainty is no excuse. We are people of action. We are people who move forward, always tapping into source within, absolutely. But we do not allow any self-doubt to control what we do or do not do. We know we are called, and so we move. We know we are called, and so we move. We know that as we live out the call on our life, whatever that is, there's no big or small about it, there is just the call. As we live it out, we make a difference. We change lives just by being our most powerful self. And so we refuse to allow uncertainty to eat our destiny. We are born for more. We are born to experience prosperity in all, in all areas of life. And so we seek out the kingdom. We seek out the kingdom, the kingdom that is the purpose, the call on our life. We choose to be that person who lives it out. And we know that everything will be added to us as we live out that call on our life. Honey, respond to the call. If this resonates, if you're listening to me and you're thinking, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I needed to hear, then you are called onto the deliberate life path. A life of abundance, of freedom, of fulfillment, a life of connection to your divine source, whatever that means to you. A life of clarity of purpose, a life where you are clean and clear from the stories of the past, where you are taking action every single day 
to bring about the call on your life and to bring about the kingdom in your life, in all areas of your life, your relationships, your wealth, your health, all areas of life working as you move forward, you take action to bring the call to life, that it no longer be a dream, that it becomes something that is reality. You start the transition period from being someone who is maybe passively, you know, I was passive for a long time doing my pharmacy thing, you know, as a pharmacist, all of this stuff, but I'd done all of that because that's what I, others had told me that that was the best path. I'd ignored the spirit voice within me saying, honey, you are called to something more. But then I woke up. It took hitting rock bottom, but I woke up. I woke up and slowly but surely I transitioned. Transitioned away from a life of passivity to a life of deliberate design. A life where I wake up knowing that I am on purpose. A life where I know that I am fulfilled, I am free, I am abundant. And I am loved and I am love in the world. And I call you to this path as well. I call you to this path as well. And it starts, number one, go get the book. Pray, affirm, receive how to get clear, stay clear, and take action to get what you desire out of life. And it's at rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash book gift. I'm just typing it in for you right now. You go get the book. The book itself is just part one. There is an audio version of it as well. I just read it through, but then you're going to be getting emails from me, which help you see what the deliberate life is all about, help you step into the path of a life lived by deliberate design, intuitively guided life. And so, yes, you will hear from me regularly. But if you know that you're done, we come to the end of another year here, depends on when you're listening to this, of course. And it's time for you to wake up and become who you know you've always been born to be. So, yes, get the book, read the emails that come to you. Make sure you check for them in your spam folder or your promotions folder or whatever it is that <laughs> the powers that be decide they should go to. Make sure you get them out. It is time for you to start to live a life of deliberate design, a life of abundance, of prosperity, of fulfillment, of freedom, a life where you are love in this world. You are making a difference in the work that you do, you're making a difference as you show up in your relationships. You're making a difference as you look, take care of your body. You love yourself. You're making a difference because that's who you are born to be. So uncertainty is no excuse. We wake up and we live. Share this with someone else. It is time for us to wake up. If you are that spiritual person determined to make a difference, determined to do what it takes to live the life you are born to live, to do what it takes until it takes, then definitely go get the book. Pray, affirm, receive. It's at rosemaryonnyknight.com forward slash book gift. Until the next time, much amazing love.